Hello and welcome to the wrap up from week five. So you've heard the statement, your perception is your reality. And this chapter is really about how reality is socially constructed by society. Um, you learned about how we have expectations about how to behave in public, your front stage, and how um, we behave when others don't see us, your backstage. Uh, this happens in lots of settings. You guys gave some really great examples, um, but it also happens in places like business. Um, when it's in a business, it's called impression management. For example, when you go into a funeral home, you see a calm, quiet, comforting setting, um, but behind that um, front part, we know that the business of death is occurring, um, which is very two different fronts. Or take, for example, you walk into a store, you see a nicely set showroom, but we know that the stock room looks a very different, probably chaotic boxes, um, we also know that employees act one way with customers, and then when customers aren't there, they're joking with coworkers and behaving differently. Um, you also read about how people need to control their emotions when they're working. As a therapist, I might get frustrated with the, the consumer who's sitting in front of me, but I can't show my frustration. I have to show support for the person I'm working with. Same for police and firefighters. Um, for example, on 9-11, they had to show no fear while they were rushing in to do their work. Um, but we know that they had emotions that were occurring for themselves. And then the last topic um, that I want to hit on is in-group, out-group. This is how we belong to one group, and we might have conflict with another group. That conflict might be minor or a major conflict. For example, high school rivals. Um, that's an example of an in-group, out-group. Um, and uh, uh, to take it to a societal level, we could talk about race um, and ethnicity conflicts. Um, either perceived or um, real. So um, we can extrapolate that in-group, out-group into many different situations. If you have questions, let me know. Have a good week. Bye.